In this video I want to show you my new toy. It's called the Mastodon. Um, so let me explain a little bit about this machine. Um, it's a coring system to make several bowls out of one big lump of wood. Um, coring system, it's got different knives. I just took off the bark, so the next step is a bit smaller knife and cut the first bowl. We have built this machine for rough turning bowls. So the bowls I make here are meant to be put in a carton box or in a, a drying room, in a kiln, then dry and finish later. Because this wood is still wet and we finish them of course when it's dry. To do that we need a lot of power. Here's a 4 kilowatt motor and because it can't always spin on the maximum, maximum speed there's a frequency drive over here so we can lower the speed. It's got a huge spindle to carry this load and of course several knives. This one is the biggest, it makes, um, it cores out about 48 centimeters and that's quite, well if you're a bowl turner you know already, that's quite a big bowl. If you want to sell it, it's not easy to sell a bowl of 45 centimeters. If you go a little bit, little bit smaller it's actually much much easier. So let's now do the inside of the bowl and have a bit smaller knife. Here you see the knives I have and this one will take. I was drinking beer with my friend Jan Hovens and I thought I'll buy him just one more and then I will ask him <laughs> if he will build it with me. And right at, and exactly at the right moment I asked him the question and he said yes. <laughs> Stupid of course. But anyway, now I have the machine and I'm very happy with it. First one. You might think we use huge cutters, but that's not the case. This little, very little tiny cutter, it's a tungsten carbide cutter, it's the cutter that does all the work. And if it is blunt, I use the other point and if that one is blunt, I take it off and I throw it away and take a new one. The smallest knife is on, so let's make the last bowl. Now comes the big problem that is to um, take this off the machine because it is screwed on with every uh, cut I make it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter stuck to the faceplate. Well the easy way is to get a chisel and split it but well I'm Dutch. So, 
looks like a Viking. <laughs> hey, Dutchie, is it really that stuck? Yep. So now we have a nice thing for in the garden, a big bowl, a salad bowl, a small bowl and some waste material. Why do I want this machine? Because it's faster, at least three times faster. Three times? Yeah, three times faster. Wow. And I need a lot of bowls, pre-turned bowls also in my bowl co courses. Yeah. Um, so if there's six people in the in the course, I need uh, 18 pieces wow. on a two-day course at least. So wow. that's also why. If you hear anything in the background, it's my neighbor. He's working his land. The last one for today. In the box, it's not completely filled lit, so it, it could be that I, I'm going to look for another piece of wood to core. But if I would have done this the old way, it would have cost me much, 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 much more time. So I'm very pleased with my new toy. Yeah. Thanks, Jan. And thanks, Lise. Video is over. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay. Oh! Subscribe to my channel if you would like to have every now and then a wood turning tip. Subscribe.